Okay, so what I wanted here is just a basic uh, rectangle shape for my craps table. It's going to go on the board. So I've got my green fondant here. All right, so it's just going to go like from here, 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 here. So what I need to do is take some shortening. And I'll just start with putting a little around. Okay. Lift this up. Okay, so get this part out of here. Just kind of cut around that. And what I can do is continue to roll it right here on the board. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, just pretty much get that out of there for one thing, is cut just straight line, it's a rectangle, so I can just start over here. side. Just kind of measure. It's about half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, an inch and a half in from the uh, side there. So that's about an inch and a half in. Cut that. And then it's straight down here. So let's see, over here, this is about two and a half inches. So I just line these up. Obviously, it's easier you have a longer ruler, but you just have to work with what you have. Okay, voila. All right, now what we can do is um, lift this up a little bit. If it, if it lifts up, then that means we just need a little bit more shortening down there to secure it. You could use water too. Okay, so this is it, and then we're going to put a border around it, but a lot of times I'll do the border and everything after I put the cake together, just so I don't mess it up when I'm moving the cake around. Um, another thing that I like to do is I'm going to just kind of mark the lines, but not do any of the uh, piping or anything on the craps table, and it's easier to do the lines and the marking now before all the cakes are on there, but um, I'm going to end up covering some of it up, so I don't like to do more work than I actually have to. So that's kind of up to you, whether you want to just go ahead and do your complete craps table, you know, marking it with the lines and everything, or if you want to um, assemble the cake and then do that part. Okay, so for craps table, what I do is I just, um, I, don't, I don't even play craps, so I have to go on the internet and do an image search for craps table and pull one up, and then we can uh, go from there. So you can pull craps table up if you're doing a poker table, just pull up the image on online so you can just follow it. Okay, so let me go get mine and we'll be right back.